Today on Logan Lee Adventures, my boyfriend and I are gonna do something absolutely ridiculous, and that's to eat at only Michelin star restaurants for the rest of our time in Singapore. Because why not? I'm just looking at how beautiful this is. Oh, I love the architecture of the city. Anyways, we have reservations for Alma. Alma is a Spanish inspired Michelin star restaurant. in Singapore. So it's gonna be my first Michelin star restaurant with Yorun. We're just gonna have a three course lunch there and test out what a Michelin star restaurant is like in Singapore. Here we are. A part of us also wants to debunk the intimidating status to show you that this eating well especially in the most expensive city in the world, doesn't mean you'll run into debt. The term Michelin star is a hallmark of fine dining quality and restaurants around the world proudly promote their Michelin star status. Our pastime is eating, so you want to see what the hype is all about with the scene here in Singapore. Orchard Road, the famous street where I was just gawking at earlier on, is known for its luxury shopping. So Alma is quite a casual atmosphere, a branch away from the city-state's busiest glitz. For this multiple course lunch at Alma, we're having Boston lobster and angel hair pasta with high key seaweed drizzled over with lobster oil. This is so far my favorite dish from this lunch course. What Yurun and I always do is order different dishes from each other and then swap our plates when we finish eating midway. That way, we get to taste more things on the menu. Now it just wouldn't be a meal without dessert. Pots de creme. After our meal at Alma, we went to the Mandarin Orchard Hotel's rooftop pool for some post-lunch lounging before our next bite. So, Alma was alright. I mean, the appetizers taste really, really great and freaking amazing. But the main course, me and Yurun both find it quite average. Like, you can get that anywhere. And the beef, I mean, the beef was great, but the beef, it's kind of beef. Just, there's nothing else special to it. So overall, it was a good experience. It was definitely, I would rate it like four out of five stars. The service was great. Uh, and for one Michelin star restaurant, definitely nice, uh, nicely priced set lunch as well. Look at it. This would be our view. So where's the Michelin star restaurant? Oh wait! We found our next Michelin star restaurant place. It's the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant and there's actually no lineup. Let's go! Usually there's like an open hour or two hours wait here but there's actually no line as you can see. So we just got right in. <laughs> Quite lucky right now. And we're just searching up uh, what to get for food. It's not really good. Look at this place, not even a single waiter. This one is the most important one of all because Hawker Chan proves Michelin stars aren't all about how fancy a place is. It is the first star awarded to a Hawker Center food stall. The soy sauce chicken rice for $3.80 is the signature dish and that's all it costs and lives up to the reputation. See look, Michelin star restaurant with plastic fork and spoon. You don't have to be bougie all the time. What's the verdict? It's fresh. All right, that was Wakimi most yummiest meal of my life. Now it's only six euros for those two dishes. Quite unbelievable. The chicken was like, it was, it was just so good. It actually tasted more like duck, like the texture and flavor of duck than chicken. But 
highly recommend Hawker Chad for your Michelin star collection. We're now at a restaurant called Candle Nut, the world first and only Michelin star Peranakan restaurant. Peranakan refers to descendants of Chinese immigrants who settled into the Malay archipelago between the 15th and 17th centuries. We made a reservation a bit in advance since they're usually booked up. Candle Nut has a down-to-earth vibe even though the food is beautiful in its simplicity. This was our favorite dish, the curry petunia ocean trout which blends this tangy assam well with the fattiness of the seafood. What are we toasting? <laughs> Early the next morning, we're back at what has become one of our favorite hotels in Singapore, the Mandarin Orchard. On the 35th floor is Shazen Han Tin, a two Michelin star restaurant special for its dim sum brunches. Crystal chandeliers and high ceilings add a certain grandeur to the room while we sit at a semi booth table by the window. I love the lavishness. Okay, one, two, three. There's a chef here that makes you Peking duck right on the spot. Now, my childhood was based on Sunday dim sums with my family. But I can't say that I ever had dim sum that was rewarded a Michelin star until now. For those who don't know what dim sum is, the cuisine is most closely associated with the tea house culture of Hong Kong and the Guangdong province. Dim sum is a meal of small dishes served with a tea comprised of a collection of savory and sweet tastes from a variety of steamed and fried buns, dumplings, and rolls. Food is usually served three or four servings to a portion and arrives in a bamboo steamer or on a small plate. A typical dim sum meal includes several kinds of steamed buns like char siu bao which are roast pork buns, deep fried dumplings, and rice noodle rolls. You already know we ordered all the essentials and so much more on this table. And that's a wrap on our two-star Michelin restaurant for brunch. Oh, that was such a great brunch. I'm so full. It's such a great environment and ambience here and the staff is long amazing. Look at that view. I mean, can't ask for more for brunch. Thank you, Singapore. If you enjoyed this Michelin star adventure just as much as we did eating them, be sure to subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and stay tuned for our next adventure in Singapore.